look. I don't know if this is gonna work. I actually thought it was an inseam pocket, but it's so hard to tell. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to help inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. Towards the end of my videos, I also provide some tips and advice on the project, including some links to sewing techniques that are also on my channel, which I put in the description. Let's get started. So here is the project, the skirt that I'm going to refashion. And it's a wrap over skirt. Um, so we need to think about fastening and it only has this section in which to keep the skirt closed um, but I'm going to change that somewhat um, as you can see it is a plaid or a check and I like this detail this detail here is gorgeous the skirt doesn't fit that well it's not flattering and I'm going to use the back for the front. It's got some gorgeous pleats in there and it also has pockets. The pockets are very small. I don't know why. It's so small. Ah. Yeah, pockets are small. Um, so let's see if we can make this skirt a much more wearable skirt and make the back, the front, and get this feature some way to the front or to the side. It more likely will happen on the side rather than the front. So let's get started. So that's a bit of a wrap over skirt. These are the pocket bags. And I'm just gonna put it around me so you have an idea of how it's supposed to look. What I want to do is to make the back, the front, the pockets are going that way at the moment, so I'm going to put them that way. That should be quite easy. Um, it's just the fastening. Obviously, I don't want a back opening <laughs> like that, so I'm going to have to find a way to, 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 to get into the skirt with... with the flap still more or less, the wrap over I should say, more or less still working, but will it's gonna require a lot of me trying it on to make sure I'm comfortable. But it's a nice skirt, worn back to front. Yes, and I do like pleats. So the first thing I'm going to do then is just to remove this, because this is a nice feature. So I'm going to remove the fastenings. So I'm going to take my time with my seam ripper because I don't want to damage it. And that will take me a little bit of time. Uh, I have removed the fastenings. So I'm going to put that to one side for a moment. And let's just focus on the Let's focus on the pockets. So we need to bring the pockets to the new front. So here's the pocket bag and it needs to lie on this side of the garment. So get my seam ripper and start from the facing. So it's not lying flat. And that's basically because, if I can, if I can just about see here. Is this a welt? I think it's a welt pocket. I thought it was an inseam pocket. Oh. Okay. Quite more. 
Is this going to work? I don't know if this is going to work. I actually thought it was an inseam pocket, but it's so hard to tell. So that means it's stitched there and it's stitched there to the back, to the front. So going to be a bit, yeah, it's going to be a bit awkward. <gasps> Why is it so small as well? Okay. This is what happens when it comes to refashioning where you can stop you in your tracks because you're not sure the technique that they've used in order to get the pocket looking the way that it did, that it does, because I actually thought it was an inseam pocket. And I want to use this pocket towards the new front. It's going to be awkward. Okay. I'm going to try the skirt on and see what the solution is going to be because I definitely want these pockets to the front. Um, maybe I can't really do an inseam pocket because it means I will have to make the skirt smaller and give myself um, a smaller seam. And that's something I don't want to do because the opening is going to be at the back of the skirt. So I want as much of this skirt as possible. Um, so. I'm going to try it on and see what problems I'm going to have doing this and see what solutions I can come up with. Okay, so this is where the pocket was originally. So I've unpicked it there and I've made the pockets to where the pins are now, holding it to the to the back of the skirt, which is going to be the new front. And this is a problem that I have. It's not that evident, um, but there's a, a slight awkwardness in order to get into the pocket. And plus the pocket is very, the opening is very small. I suppose it's designed to be only fingers and no thumbs, I suppose. Um, it's a very small opening for the pocket and you can't really tell so i'm going to go ahead because the other the other solution is not to have pockets and then just sew this straight down and then you wouldn't have access to a pocket but the pocket would still be there if you wanted it to be there um but because i want pockets i'm going to see if i can live with this way it is at the moment. I mean, as I work on this skirt, I might come up with a solution to how I can actually get this to be a little bit more flat, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So I've had a look at the pocket again, and I've decided that I'm going to let it stay as is. I'm not going to interfere with the pocket. I'm just going to put the pocket bag towards the back, which is going to be the new front. So, um, because the pocket opening is quite small, I decided that, and because I don't want to lose any from the side seams by cutting it away, which is, could be an option, I decided not to interfere with the pocket, just leave it as is. Um, sew it in place now, try it on again. It doesn't look too awkward and I'll be able to get some my four fingers in <laughs> whether the pocket was at the front or the back in its original place in I would only be able to it feels comfortable just putting my fingers in rather rather than putting my whole hand in which is what I would prefer anyway so I'll just go with what I have at the moment which is to that looks nice being placed like that. So all I need to do is take it to a sewing machine and sew it into place and sew this opening here.
the pockets are now sewn into place so they're now facing the back of the skirt which is the new front so the next step after this is then to figure out the, the fastening which is going to be at the back of the skirt I'm going to try to extend it somehow because I do like these but I want them to be towards the front or at least at the side of the skirt so I need to extend this a little bit I mean it is possible I didn't have to remove them if I didn't want to and the skirt would still be wearable but I just wanted that bit of feature towards the side or the front of the skirt so I am going to go and get some scrap fabric uh, maybe black fabric and see how I can extend this so it comes a little bit towards the front of the skirt next stage is then to think about the fastening so the wrap is going towards the back so before I think about how I'm going to feel secure in the back of the wrap let's figure out the fastening at the top of the skirt at the yoke section so I found some grey fabric and um, I decided to go for grey rather than black and then what I'll do is just extend it from here to here and then put these fastenings back on like so Ooh, I like that rather than having both I'll just put one I'll just put one on so that's the next thing I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the yoke section here. I'm just going to put my seam ripper into the seam which I can just about see. Yeah. Okay so this is where this is going to be inserted into that section. Okay, right so what I need to then do is cut this down in order for it to fit into there. One side for a moment and then just cut for all the thicknesses. I'm happy with that shape. That'll fit on like that. Yes, that's brilliant. So all I need to do now is just sew down each side of those. But before I actually sew down the seam, I need to put this into position first. So I put myself, give myself a seam allowance. So I will be able to place this on top like so um i would i would actually interface this i'm going to interface one side of it and then I'm ready to sew this in position and then i can sew it into the skirt i'm sewing one half of the fastening placing it on the fold that i pressed i'm also changed my foot i decided to go for the my zipper foot because it's a narrower foot and hopefully Okay, I'm happy with that. Good result. Now all I need to do is sew down each side and then pull it through. Okay, sewn it into place. All I need to do is pull it through.
There we go. Just part these corners. I won't do it um, as because I, I need to. It needs to be pressed. I just want to show you what it looks like. So that's where it is. Then all that needs to do is to be inserted into this opening here, like so. Like I said, I've got to press this before I do that. Then once that is into place, I will top stitch. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably top stitch it into place here. You could top stitch it all the way around, you could do top stitch and edge stitching, but I'm not going to do that to the extension part, I'm just going to do it along here. It is now sewn into place, top stitching, that's the front, and that's the back. And now all I need to do is sew the other side to the skirt itself. So the best thing for me to do is put it back in position like so, try it on, and then this will be ready to sew onto the skirt. Okay, another fitting, skirt is on. That's nice, yeah. And then just sew it into place about there. That's great. So before, um, once I have done that, sew that into place, just using the same method I use for sewing that one into place, it will be a case of me then having an opening. So I'm going to hand sew from about here, uh, perhaps to about my knee, I'm going to hand sew that so I can get in and out of the skirt and you know it doesn't open out and you can see anything. So and then it will be complete. The final stage was the hand sewing and it is now complete. I did herringbone stitch, really tiny, you can't even see. This is the right side, inside and it just flaps over. So there's buttons on the inside of the skirt in order to help it stay in place and then I'll be able to get into it and it still has that wrap over look to it. It's so gorgeous now, I'm really happy. Let me turn around and show you the pockets. There it is, there it is. Just get my four fingers in, it's fine. And the feature is so gorgeous, the wrap. was a success I love it it's so gorgeous the pockets was a success as well because I did manage to get them to lie flat when you first want to put your hands into it it's a little bit awkward but after that it's fine if you have a garment that has true inseam pockets it will be a lot easier um, the wearing the skirt back to front feels comfortable the wrap is no longer a functional wrap, so it's a skirt that you step into rather than a skirt that you wrap around yourself. And remember, for, as far as the fastenings are concerned, that is personal choice. You can have them at the back, it's fine if that's your style. Um, so, but I wanted the extension, I wanted that detail that I gave myself. Oh, gorgeous, so gorgeous. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. And also, I do have membership on my channel where I upload content that's a bit different from what's on my channel at the moment which is free content but you get a lot more in-depth about me um, behind the scenes and also depending on what level you choose there can be some classes involved as well so if you're into joining my channel CGL membership then consider subscribing and also joining my membership and if you have any comments or queries please do share this video and I We'll see you next time.